So Morning Joe co-host, husband and wife, Mika Brzezinski and Joe Scarborough on their show this morning said that over the weekend they made a visit to Mar-a-Lago to have a meeting with President Trump. Now, some of you would say, why would Trump do that? Especially after they've called him a Nazi and a fascist and every other ist and ism under the sun for the last, oh, I don't know, eight years? Really ramping up the rhetoric for the 2024 election? Well, I got three stories here that kind of dive into this a little bit. The first one is from Breitbart.com. Uh, Wendell... Husibo writes this article, and I apologize, Window, if I butchered your name. Morning Joe co-hosts who liken Trump to Hitler open dialogue with him at Mar-a-Lago. NBC's Morning Joe co-hosts Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski announced Monday they opened a line of communication with President-elect Donald Trump. Meeting undermines their previous claims that Trump is a threat to democracy, a fascist, and going full-on Hitler. Now, in my opinion... Trump meeting with these two who have basically disparaged him for the last eight years, except for Joe Scarborough did make a phone call to President Trump after the attempt uh, on that fateful day in July. Um, in Butler, PA. This, in my opinion, goes to show that Donald Trump He's a changed man. He's not holding grudges. It'd be really easy to hold a grudge against these two and tell them, you know what? I, I, got, I don't want nothing to do with you guys. But he didn't. And so this shows a different side of him. Now, uh, let's see here. This goes on to the past comments. Let's go over to Hollywood Reporter, THR. MSNBC Morning Joe hosts Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski. Brzezinski? God, I can't say her name right. Meet with Trump and bid for a new approach to coverage. The host traveled to Mar-a-Lago over the weekend where they agreed to restart communications with the president-elect. Seven years after they last spoke to him, MSNBC Morning Joe hosts Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski traveled to Mar-a-Lago over the weekend to meet with president-elect Donald Trump. The duo used to be friends with Trump, as many others in the media and Hollywood were friends with Trump before he went down that escalator in 2015. Turned into fierce critics during his first term in office, and he returned the favor, occasionally ripping them apart on, in posts on X, formerly Twitter. At the top of Monday's program, they disclosed their trip, acknowledging that his decisive win influenced their decision. Joe and I realized it's time to do something different, and that starts with not only talking about Donald Trump, but also talking with him. Wow. You guys couldn't have done that like a few years ago. I mean, just saying for those asking why we would go speak to this president elect during such fraught times, especially between us, I guess I would ask back. Why wouldn't we five years of political warfare has deeply divided Washington and the country. It has, and you guys are the ones that have been doing it. Not to mention Democrats in, in Washington, as well as a bunch of rhino Republicans in Washington, have also been doing it. The pair said the Trump meeting was upbeat during and noted that only communication they have had in recent years was a phone call Scarborough made the day after the attempt on Trump's life. As for what they discussed, we talked about a lot of issues, uh, the usual stuff. We talked about it a good bit. It will come as no surprise to anybody who watches the show has watched it over the past year or over the past decade that we didn't see eye to eye on a lot of the issues and we told him so. That's fine. Uh, over at Variety, again, Morning Joe Scarborough and Brzezinski visit President-elect Trump. It's time to do something different. Now keep in mind, Variety and THR, yeah, they're owned by the same company, Penske Entertainment. Just saying, or Penske Media, which I believe is Jay Penske's outfit. Um. So, you know, some people are saying that Joe and Mika are bending the knee. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. 
But I, I will say this, with the rumors swirling of MSNBC being sold uh, by Comcast, and with uh, the ratings plummeting by as much as 40, even 50% since the election, um, they're probably having a oh shit moment and trying to figure out, okay, how, how are we going to salvage this thing? Because quite honestly, the mainstream media, it, it's, it's on its final legs. People are not tuning in to the mainstream media to get their news anymore. They're going to other sources. Like myself, I frequent Breitbart. Um, I get a lot of information off of X. Um, and that's because... When you hear the stuff coming out of the mouths of these people, which, by the way, I don't think they believe half of what they're saying to begin with. Um, it just, the, it's a big CYA. That's what it is. Uh, this other article from Breitbart from uh, John Nolte, Joe and Mika betray residual viewers by kissing orange Hitler's ring. This is an opinion piece here. Uh, from John Nolte. I'm not going to get into it too much because it regurgitates some of the other things that, that have said in these other articles. But what do you guys think out there as far as uh, Joe and Mika going to meet Trump? I, I, I don't think it's a bad thing, but I think it's a huge CYA. But what do you think? Comment in the comment section down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that... I will see you guys later.